Hey guys, Clayton here again. So today I'm going to be running you through some knots. These are some knots that I've been shown or picked up or I've learned how to tie on the internet that have come in useful for many different fishing situations. So the first one that I'm going to show you is probably the most universal, useful knot that you can know. Um, it's just a basic snell knot. So you can use that to snell a single hook on, snell two hooks on, whatever you want. You can snell a hook here and then move one over and snell it over here. You can have them close together just to suit the different size of squids or you know fish frame or whatever you're going to be using. So first thing, you will need a section of leader. Now you always have to do the bottom hook first which that's pretty simple anyway. So we'll switch over to the smaller camera. Now to start off all you're going to want to do is put your tag end of the mono through the hook. Then what we're going to do with the main line end and wrap it over as many times as you see fit. So it will stop there. So just pinch it, go along and find the main end of the mono and insert it up through. And it's just a matter of cinching it down nice and tight. Like that. So that's your first snell. Now your second one. Grab your hook. Insert it through the back here. Bring it through to where you want it. So if you want it really close, put it there. Then it's just a matter of once again bringing that mono around, wrapping it down, getting that tag end again, putting it back up and through, and then pull it down nice and tight. So that you have there is your two snelled hooks. So what you do, right, say that that's the head of the squid, right, the tube, you've got tentacles coming down this way, grab your first hook, put it through the top of the tube, like that, and the second hook, you know, you can have it down further, which is normally a good thing, but you measure out where it's still going to be straight, have it there, poke the hook through this side, And then back out again, a little pinch down, and so you're dropping down, you know, a squid or a cut bait or whatever you want, dangle that down onto the reef, and you're good to go. Just keep an eye on your zonings because you cannot use this setup in a yellow zone. Yellow zone is one hook per person, so you'd have to get rid of this one and just use the top. Alright, so that's the finished rigging there. Now you can see it's presented very well on a piece of cut bait or squid. So it's a really good one to use. So I'm going to be doing a lot more of these knot videos. Get them going. Share some knowledge with everybody. You know, it's a good thing to do. Everybody should be helping everybody. And thanks for tuning in. Leave a like if you liked the video, comment if you've got any feedback or got any recommendations of what I should show or you know, what the people you know need to sort of learn. Um, and if you do like these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button, it really does help me out.